Hey, Yashim, how are you? Do you see me? Oh, very well, yes. Yeah. I see, see you. you again. Hello. Ladies Thank you. Thank you very welcome much. Welcome, Yashim Ustaulu. Hello. <laughs> welcome back to New York. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let me, let me start off our question and answer period by just asking you the source for this film. Was it based on any incident you knew about, or where did the idea come from? It started, the idea started to came on me uh, when I was doing Pandora's Box. Uh, we were traveling a lot on that uh, region, the road uh, that I, we were one of uh, the passengers uh, passing by from such a big bus stations or uh, passing by from the, the, the city, little city where Olgun lives also. Um, it, I start to notice the moments and people who are shifting 24 hours and start to talk to them and many other uh, ideas from my past. Uh, I mean, some other stories I knew the, the people had uh, such a, uh, troubles. Uh, little by little. Uh, it started and I wrote, I started to write on 2009, right after finish, when I finished Pandora's Box. Is there anything particularly special about that region? How does that region uh, read for, say, people in Turkey? Is it known as a very special place? It's, it, in fact, right on the middle, in the center of uh, Anatolia. It is, uh, it's partly tr very traditional. It's a, but the city is uh, the one of the first um, established city on uh, industry with the factory. In, 90, in 1930s, it is uh, established and uh, became bigger slightly. But afterwards, after 80s, uh, this period, it, the time looks like uh, frozen there. And the road um, is the main road, in fact, between Istanbul and Ankara to Anatolia. It's part of the, our new modernity, modern, modern life. Everybody passes from there. Um, so I, I really want to look today. How is, what, what is the perspective of today for the youngs, especially? What we, the life gives them, what kind of perspective, vision? Uh, living, it's right in the in the heart of Turkey. And well, what is the heart of the Turkey, in fact? What, what is that? Uh, I, I wanted to look at that. And my last question to you, uh, you the, talk about the two young actors at the center of the film. I think they both give incredible performances. Where did you find them? And, and could you talk about how you work with them? And they are really both lovely. Uh, the girl, uh, Neslihan Atagül, acted as Zehra. Uh, she acts when she was 12 years old in a, in, in a small film, in a very, very little girl. But I, uh, when I watched her part, uh, you can understand she has talent. And afterwards, a couple of uh, TV serial small roles also, she acted. Uh, when I met with her, she was not working at the time. I needed somebody completely uh, participate to, to our work. Uh, we met and uh, the first meeting was already for me very convincing. She, her reaction, her attitude, her understanding of the character was very high. Uh, the boy also was acting only in a small uh, amateur theater. He, he's a university stu he's student actually. And he was, we were searching everybody, a little of all the alternative places and amateur theater uh, places too. We found him from there uh, immediately when I saw and understand, start to understand his uh, talent, uh, I took him too. And they became really very good friends. They, they really had very amazing, good energy together too. Great, They're, they really are terrific. I'm going to ask yeah. now our public here, our audience, if they have some questions too. Sure. Yes, right here, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, we oh, have sorry. to wait for the microphone. It's on. I really like the film because it, it's contextualized. You understand the characters. What struck me, however, was the ending. Why did you start for that ending? Thank you. 
question is about the ending of the film. Why did you decide to have that particular ending? And the viewer also said he liked the film very much. Mm -hmm. um, I, I asked this question to me because I, it, I really wanted to end in that way. So I asked the question like, are they getting off from Araf, means limbo, or remaining there? So I think uh, I couldn't choose to getting off or not even staying there. It's between still. I wanted to have a, uh, the ending in such a way it's in between also. There is a hope, there is a uh, loyalty uh, holding each other, but there is a kind of stock, still life, uh, in, in this perspective. This was my uh, idea. Yeah, I think your, your final shot says that so powerfully, because we see the kissing and the joy, but we also see they're in prison. Yeah, they are in prison. Right. Yes, ma'am. Um, hi, I have two questions for you. Uh, the first question is, why wasn't her mother at the wedding? And the other question is, do you think that in Turkey today, a man could have made this film? Two questions. One, why wasn't the mother at the wedding? And second, in Turkey today, could a man make the same film? All right. <laughs> um, we don't know the girl she is, she's cured. She's much better because she has she passed from such a huge trauma and depression. So we don't know she escaped again because it's quite interesting uh, wedding uh, for them. She probably escaped from the home and just to to do this uh, without her getting her family's permission. That's that's the, the one reason. Uh, for the man. Um, I should be honest, I think I don't think so. <laughs> well. <laughs> yes, right here, first. Hi, um, well, I was uh, moved by the movie. Very moved. Uh, uh, with this movie and with last year's uh, Once Upon a Time in Anatolia, uh, I'm just being introduced to Turkish, I mean, to Turkish cinema. Why, uh, why do you think that this movement is happening? How would you explain the movement in Turkish cinema today that, that results in such great movies? Okay. This viewer is saying that with your film and with last year when we showed Once Upon a Time in Anatolia, he's discovering Turkish cinema and is very moved by both films and wants to know why do you think at this moment there is such a, a boom in Turkish film production, so many fine films coming from Turkey? Well, yeah, um, uh, me, like my generation, actually, me and uh, Nuri Bilge, Semih Kaplanoğlu, uh, Zeki Demirkudus, maybe you know all these names, there is Saim. We started in very new uh, in nineties, uh, new um, gen uh, how can I say wave, new wave. Uh, with the, now it's of course uh, we we start to be more established filmmakers with all our experience and look to the life uh, ours with our style. Uh, really related to the uh, life in Turkey, problems in Turkey, and create the characters, uh, and to also know more about this, all the technical things, which is getting much easier, in fact, with the digital systems, etc. This also opened a really very good path, path uh, to the new filmmakers coming from behind of us. And we had a good relations with them too. I think it's important period. Okay. Over here on the side, right? Well, hold on, wait for the microphone. Okay. Um, it's a very beautiful film. And uh, I was wondering the sequence of the dance 
I have Turkish friends, I have been at Turkish weddings, but I have never seen such a seductive dance. <laughs> and I was wondering if it is this actor or your direction, explain a little bit about that dance. <laughs> that is very special. Quest question about the dance. I think you heard that this viewer finds it extremely seductive and wants to know if this is typical or is this the actor or your direction? It's my direction, but it is so typical. I invite her, please come and you can be, I, I take you every hour you can have. <laughs> we love dancing and it's very typical. Okay, this gentleman right here. Yeah, um, yeah, one thing that I thought was very interesting was this whole motif of reality TV and game shows kind of, it kind of runs throughout the film, like the guy is trying to get on Deal or No Deal and then of course at the end they're being filmed for TV. And I'm wondering if that's kind of, there's this theme of people trying to escape, so I'm wondering if that's kind of, kind of hooks in that. If you could talk about how you use reality TV and game shows in this film. The question is, could you talk about your use of reality TV and game shows? And this viewer says there's such a big theme of escape in the film. Is this part of the theme, perhaps? Yeah, it is. It is. Um, in fact, it's, um, it's really life is uh, happening here like that. This, this is what I was talking in the beginning, the, the, the youngs. Uh, teenagers has no, especially down class people, worker class people, has no really vision what to put and they are dreaming, they are collecting their dreams from TV uh, shows or um, this kind of programs. Uh, everyone wants to be at least 10 minutes uh, celebrity, to be shown, to be, uh, look, uh, to be in the f TV. Or on the other side, it's very sad that people don't trust uh, the, the law anymore. They are, they are trying to figure out their problems uh, in such a reality show program, programs. When I was talking, the man at the end in the prison, who is, uh, in fact, really very famous person uh, doing such a programs, when I was talking to him, he said, in one month, I received like four million uh, letters. That people four are uh, million for, letters. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not kidding. Really, it's it's incredible. It's really uh, very uh, sad, in fact. So um, th this is the reality. Where whoever you talk, uh, you want to do you which, which serial you are watching, or you want to be in this program. Everybody will say, yeah, they they are really. Um, collecting their hopes and dreams, biggest part at least, let's say, uh, in, the, in TV, in okay. games. All the way in the back there, gentlemen. Uh, could you talk a little bit about uh, your next project? Is uh, your next project along the same lines of this one or more a feminist approach to uh, issues uh, dealing with uh, contemporary youth in Turkey? Questions about what your future projects are, your next project or other plans you might have. I start to write slightly now. I, uh, yeah, but it's quite early for me to talk about, but I think I am more, I, of course, I am really very interested to talk about the contemporary life and the characters. But more and more, I am getting interested to talk about their psychological dynamics for each character. So I, I'm writing about a woman, but it's really a bit early for me to, to, to tell, talk about the story. Yes, she do you imagine, I don't know if the film has been shown in Turkey yet, it's very, very new. Do you uh, expect that there might be any problems with your getting to show the film in Turkey? No, I don't think so. In fact, uh, tomorrow is opening in Turkey. Today I am in, the, in, the, in one festival, which is a local uh, national film festival. Yesterday we show first time uh, to the audience, uh, we had a very we we are having really very very good feedbacks, but some people are really 
of course, uh, still not able to confront themselves, uh, to hear, to see in their in these troubles. Uh, I, I am hearing both, but I don't think that it will be trouble. Uh, probably we will reach really a very good audience, a good young audience we are expecting. Great. We have time for a couple more. Uh, gentleman right here has had his hand up for a long time. Yes, the uh, molten slag runoff at the beginning of the film, which you returned to a couple of times, uh, I'm wondering what that represented to you. I, I kind of thought with all these people in this backwards area, kind of sort of the people who've been run off in the country, uh, reminded me of Romney and his 47%, <laughs> but I wasn't sure what you meant theatrically by returning to that as an image. The question is the image of the molten slag kind of running off with which you opened the film, and it's an image that you return to a few times. And if you could just talk about your use of that image and what it means to you. Um, I think I couldn't get exactly. Yeah, do you know in the beginning when you have all the material that's running down that sort of pipe in the beginning? It's a, it's a kind of lava? Right, this, exactly. Yeah, lava, yeah. yeah. Hmm. The, the, the metaphor of this... Exactly, you uh, used yeah, it okay. a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, right, okay, I understand now. Um, well, uh, the film talks about the situation, the people who are, uh, at this moment, are like in Araf, I repeat, like in Turkish, where it's limbo. Not in, in neither in in hell or heaven. It's it's a waiting mood, no per, no perspective. So I start. I wanted to start in a very harsh, like a helly, uh, uh, to disturb something uh, to the audience also. To start with a very hell helly con. Uh, how we to, to a little bit like okay. Now we are really getting into the hell and stay where we stay. And then it, it, it's second time I used. In fact, there is there is this, the, only the sound of this image remains for a long. Whenever we are in the city or passing from the factory, we have this image of sound. But later on, when we are really when the dreamy uh, truck driver is uh, disappears with his uh, taking off uh, her dreams. We again uh, go back to the harsh reality with the image of lava. Okay, time for one more. Yes, over here. Wanda, yeah. First Wanda, then we'll do Brad and we'll finish up. Um, I just wanted to ask about the camera work and the visual style of the film, which is really very beautiful and very poetic and um, you there's a great deal of duration. I just wondered if you could talk about that. Questions about your, your camera style and your work with your cinematographer in the film. It was wonderful to work with Michael Hammond. A great artist, uh, amazing man also who came from Germany. But the, the style of the film is um, was uh, to look at into the moments and the faces or moods of the characters close by close while they are getting closer to each other with their feelings. Step by step, I get closer to them and remain with them, with the moments of living moments. This is, uh, this is what I wanted to create, moments by moments. And for Brad. I also thought uh, you used the weather effectively, and yeah, I thought used, sorry, I weather, know. and especially the way you, since you mentioned about hell and the molten lava, it was interesting to see how much you used the barren and cold, and I wanted you to talk about that. Right. Question is also the use of weather, and yes, there's the molten lava, the heat, but also there's the cold and uh, the wind, and if you could talk a little bit about that as well. Yeah, I uh, really wanted to be in such a very cold... Uh, the, the start of the film in a very cold, heavy weather, uh, where um, life really passes more slow. 
things happen more slow rhythm. Nothing change. You are frozen and stay with your side. It's it's it, the, the driver comes into to their life to break down the things in such a very heavy cold atmosphere, which you don't want to move in fact to anywhere else. Uh, and slightly, the things happens in the in the in such a heavy winter conditions. Uh, the reality, her reality, comes back uh, with her pregnancy. In fact, when she's face to face, it's very hot, heated time. It's more hot than really. It's. I wanted to have really big contrast between both time. Okay, well, I'm afraid that's all we have time for. Yeshim, thank you mm -hmm. so much for the film. You're welcome. For being in the festival. I look forward to having you back in New York. Yeah, I'm coming Take soon. Take good, good luck tonight at the festival. Thank you very much. Thank bye you bye. very much. Bye-bye.